The moon is a very important celestial object in the solar system, and is Earth's only natural satellite, orbiting our planet every 27.3 days, and rotating at the same rate. The moon's formation is under speculation, and there are three theories as to how this celestial object is formed. One theory is called the capture theory, which suggests that the moon used to be an asteroid, and was attracted by Earth's gravity as these two celestial objects came in close contact. Another theory called the accretion theory states that the moon was formed when Earth was formed. The fission scenario conveys that the Earth was spinning so fast that a piece of it broke off and began orbiting the Earth. Although these theories may seem far-fetched, the next theory, which is the most popular among these three, is very probable. This theory is named the giant impact theory. This theory suggests that the moon was formed after Earth and a smaller planet nearly the size of Mars collided and its debris would form the moon, which would orbit the Earth. These are the theories concerning the origin of the moon. The moon affects the Earth in many influential ways. First off, the gravitational pull from the moon causes a shift in the manner of Earth's tidal waves. The moon's gravitational attraction is greater on the side of the Earth than it is nearest to, and is weaker on the opposite side. Another result of the moon's gravitational pull is how both the Earth's crust and oceans slightly bulge at the sides. The oceans bulge out more prominently, which creates two high tides per day. There are both high tides as well as low tides. High tides or low tides are cyclic, and the time difference between high tides or two low tides are approximately 12 hours and 24 minutes. There are also two types of seasonal tides, spring tides and neap tides. Spring tides occur when the sun, moon, and earth are perfectly aligned, which occurs during a full and new moon phase, while neap tides only occur during the first and third quarter moon phases. To add on to this, spectators from earth are able to see different phases of the moon on a daily basis in the nighttime sky as the moon revolves around the sun. This is caused by the position of the moon in respect to the earth and sun which influences the portion of the moon that is illuminated as seen from Earth. The phases of the moon in order are the following. A new moon, a waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, and a waning crescent. In these phases, the term waning is analogous to losing light, and waxing is gaining light, Another phenomenon that would affect a spectator's view of the moon and sun from Earth are eclipses. There are two forms of eclipses, solar and lunar eclipses. Solar eclipses occur when the moon is in between the Earth and sun, and a lunar eclipse takes place when the Earth is between the moon and sun. What enables us to see a lunar eclipse is the fact that the moon's orbit is not on the same plane as that of Earth's. The moon's orbit is inclined 5 degrees in respect to the Earth's orbit. The moon is the most tangible and closest celestial object to us, both figuratively and literally, and has been the cornerstone of space exploration. The missions to the moon have allowed us to learn more about space transportation, which can influence how we go about exploring new planets in the coming future.